Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Nokia Lumia 620. Two very important features of the phone. One is Cinemagraph and the other is the Smart Shot. First thing that I'm going to talk about is the Smart Shot, which is this one right here. I'm just going to press that button. Now see what Smart Shot does is that it will click continuous frames, about four frames. And at the end of it, you can choose whichever frame you want. So let me just give you an example. Just click the button, one frame, second, third and fourth. Now at the end of it, you're going to have four frames and you can choose whichever frame you want the most out of the picture. I'm going to try to show it to you with different facial expressions. I clicked a picture of me, six or four frames to be precise. I had different expressions in each frame, so there's me normal. There's me smiling, there's me sad, there's me, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And then there's me giving you the cutie pie smile. So let's say if I want to pick um, this frame, out of all the frames that I've clicked, I am just going to go on that frame and I'm going to tap on this button right here with the pencil. And it's going to change, change faces. I'm just going to click on that area, double tap. It's going to show you the different facial expressions. So, and um, this portion right here, this bar that you see, it shows you the different expressions. So it's basically laid out all the frames. There's a different expression. Now that's a different expression altogether. Now if I want to choose a particular expression, I'm just going to go on that expression. That's a sad one. I want to pick this expression. So it's already highlighted. I'm just going to click on this button and it's going to save that particular expression. Now I know it seems a bit odd that you could just usually click another frame. The good thing about this is the fact that if you have a group photograph and if you have 10 people and out of those 10 people one has closed eyes in the picture you can select their face and change their expression because it has already clicked four or six frames so whichever facial expression you think that is the best, you could pick that frame. Now we're going to go towards Cinemagraph. We're going to pick Cinemagraph. What Cinemagraph does is that it captures frames and it puts them together as a video. So for example, I'm just going to go towards camera and I'm just going to click it and it's going to create, see that it's just going to record it's processing. It's going to ask you which particular areas you want to animate. I'm going to show you one cinema graph that I already recorded. This is me getting my makeup done at the Krylin store at Lajpat Nagar. The, the thing with this is that it looks like a video but it's actually a continuous shot of pictures. You can also go ahead and animate particular areas. For example, right now the hand of the makeup artist is moving and my eyes are moving, both of them, and the whole of my body is stationary. If I want, I can create half of it as animated and the other half as completely pictorial. So I'm just going to click these three dots right here and it's going to ask me if I want to edit, delete, share and all of that and I'm going to go to edit. And then it asks me, use finger to increase animated area. And I actually want to decrease the animated area. So I'm just going to click on this button right here. And then I'm just going to, with my finger, kind of go over this area. Which is going to make the moving portion stagnant. And that's what I'm going to do. And now you can see, it is actually, you see the difference before and after. Right now, because of the option that I chose, this whole portion of the frame is completely stagnant. And it's only my eye that's moving up and down. If I want to, I can make the other areas animated as well. Just click on that button. And just going to make half of the frame moving and the other half is not going to be moving. So you see how my face is moving 
but this portion is not moving. That's because I chose it that way. So those are the two important features of Nokia Lumia 620. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then subscribe. Bye-bye.